one job to the next, literally like going out the frying pan into the fire. So a lot of cutting on this wall, a lot of prep as well. It's like some channeling's been done here, patched up. I'll have to sort that out. Around this slate effect fireplace, I've already sheeted up cork. So when I take the paper off, there's going to be something left on here, which will either have to come back up to that edge or get that cork off. A loose board gap here. So that board has shifted back because there's cork there. Flush plates, no screws. And that's the main feature wall as well. We're gonna have to get that looking good. I was going to use the scraper to carefully remove these plates. You'll see, you'll notice two pegs sit just in there. And that's all I'm going to do for now. These sit very tight against the side. I'll strip it, but when I come to paper, I'll just release it a little bit just to get it behind these edges. And before start any stripping putting water near this put these cables inside a polythene bag just keep them clean also you want to get a paper that is uv resistant color fast you see the line there where the sunlight has been coming through that's the color of the paper and it's gone like a pale blue where the sun has bleached it uh, always choose something that will resist that. See the blue there, there, and patches on the wall where there'll have been furniture. So we've got blue running up there, slightly up the side here. Just look patchy that wall. Stripping along above these double doors. You see the muck. Park. All these frames are going to need cleaning. All the dirt on the top of there. Can't put my paper near that. My paper and brush. Nothing. Even when I come to strip this using water or a steam stripper, that's just going to be everywhere that is. Possibly foam there. This frame, as I'm stripping, I'll wash it down and give it a thorough clean because uh, more cork, I'll have to give it a proper clean. A bit of this damp backing paper, I'm just going to just wipe over that sapy cloth a bit. And the advantages of using bucket of warm soapy water compared to a steam stripper is you can be going ahead of yourself taking the backing off wetting in the top area removing any sockets or anything you need to be doing like that ahead of yourself and then here you see where I've stripped up to that's already wetting 
I'm going to be taking that off in a minute. Wet this lot in first to remove that. And while that's soaking and that's coming off, I can be just going behind and cleaning up, making sure that my job is moving forward. If we had a steam stripper, I'd either have to leave it bubbling away or switch it off and keep going round or leave all that on the floor. And it'll soon dry, stick to your sheets, gets all over your feet, makes the job messy. Someone's caught this crack in the corner. Behind the paper there. That was a waste of time. And before you do any papering, any of this gloss work, any paint on the surface, this needs to be deglossed, needs to be keyed for your paper to stick. I'll stop there. All down there. Well, this plate, as I'm coming along stripping, this fell off. So, I have to work my magic on this one. It looks like it's sitting behind the plasterboard there. There'll be no plaster behind this piece. And there. I'll have to give that support somehow. It looks like someone had tried. I've just pulled out cork from behind there. So that's no good, that's failed. Also what's not helping, I've noticed, is the screws. So these are a flat head, and these are domed on the top. Which is forcing the plate off. As well as that. A strange one there. Just uncovered a patch of mould back of the paper and the paper was dry when it came off I've not wet this in yet that's just a bit of my water on the skirting board from when I've been wetting in above so I'll have to question about that one I've wet this wall in being careful not to disturb that area there I want the customer to see that but look here Wetting the paper. That to me looks like there's been a radiator on this wall. Some holes there. Well, where they've been filled, that'll be for where the brackets have been. That's for there, them two. So that has probably got copper pipe behind, or plastic pipe behind there. So I've took the paper off. I've not done any scraping around there. Just took the paper from around. See the water ring there. That's where it was filled. So, chances are that might still be leaking. So, when the system is on and then switched off and cooling down, as anything shrinks, there's pressure in the system and it'll weep. It's probably drying as, as it's wetting. Just a slow, constant thing. Not too bad. It's coming off quite easy. Floor's clean where I've been. Quite a bit of filling to do here and there. coming off. So just that to do now and it'll be done. Um, 
makes a difference when it's been miscoated properly. Sometimes these picture hooks can be a pain to remove because they can be really tight in. You can't get them heads with the nail. So by gripping that body, just ease it a bit. Heads are now proud. So that's all the thingy me jig off the watch of McCarlet. Now need to put the UG doings in the effort bob. <laughs>